This morning we are delighted to have our catechists, or many of our catechists here with us this morning. And our scripture today, especially our gospel, very lengthy gospel today, but I think it has a couple of things that might help us in our reflection as Christians, but also perhaps as our reflection as catechists. Many, or a significant part of the role of the catechist is to bring Christ to young children. And sometimes it's difficult controlling young children. And that's not just a, a current phenomenon. We see that even at the time of Jesus. And we have this written in by Mark into the Gospel. At the very end there, this little girl who's been healed, we're told after Jesus says, says Talitha kum, which means little girl, I tell you to get up. Well, little girl get up, gets up at once and we're told she begins to walk about for she was 12 years old. Which is saying something perhaps of what children were like even back then. It was hard to control them. And sometimes as catechists, it's hard to control children in, in our schools. But that's okay. It was even hard for Jesus. This little girl has been healed, and the first thing she wants to do, she wants to go running about. And then Jesus says, give her some food, that might settle her down. Sometimes catechists do that as well. I know there are some rules around what you can do in terms of food in our schools as well. But I think our gospel has a number of different points which are, are helpful for our catechists and for all of us as Christians today. In the mission of the church, especially in the mission of outreach, we don't just focus on one person. And Jesus shows this through this gospel today. We have Jesus arriving and there are thousands of people there and then there is one particular woman who's in great distress. But in the midst of all of this, there is this official who comes to say that this little girl is very sick. And so it's important to think about the little children. But also then you need, we, need, we also think about the families and the context of what's going on with the families. And then perhaps those who are suffering as well. And in the midst of our, our missionary work, our evangelization work, we don't just think of the little children that we, we, we come and teach the scriptures to and we, we introduce them to Jesus Christ. We also think of the other catechists because there might be healing needed amongst the catechists as well. And the catechists sometimes have been doing this role for many, many years and they need to be supported in their faith as well and support each other. So that's an important thing in the role of the catechist as well. As we see also in this gospel, Jesus is concerned not just for the children, although we should be concerned for the children, he's concerned for others around as well. The officials, the members of the families, and Jesus there brings healing. And he brings healing by allowing people to come and experience and touch him. One of the beautiful sacraments that we have is the Eucharist, where we're able to, to touch Jesus and bring Jesus into us. And Jesus brings healing. So let us pray today for our catechists. Pray that as we come to Jesus in this Eucharistic celebration, we will be touched by the presence of Christ healing will come within us so that we can then bring Christ to others in our community as well. Today is also Lunar New Year, um, for, which is especially celebrated in different parts of Sydney and different parts of the world amongst our Chinese and Vietnamese communities. I was looking into what, um, what some of the elements of Lunar New Year this year, the Year of the Tiger. It's the importance of prosperity and the importance of courage. And we all need, especially in the role of catechists, but also as Christians, to be courageous. And perhaps the tiger is courageous at times. So this year, let us pray that all of us will be courageous as witnesses and missionaries of Christ in our schools, our families, our community, and to all the ends of the earth. Thank you to all of our catechists uh, for all that you do um, to bring Christ within our community, to our young children, to each other, to those um, who are on the fringes around the work of the catechists and to all in our